In this video, we're going to look at how you multiply and divide fractions. Now, multiplying fractions is actually fairly easy because all you have to do is multiply both the numerators and denominators together separately. So for 7 over 15 times 3 over 4, you would first multiply your numerators, so 7 times 3, to give you 21 as your new numerator, and then do the same thing for your denominators. So 15 times 4 to give you 60 as your new denominator, which means that the answer is 21 over 60. Now, this answer is entirely correct already, but in an exam, you'll normally have to simplify your answer, which we can do by dividing the top and bottom of our fraction by the common factor of 3, which will simplify it to 7 over 20. For this next question, we have to multiply 4 over 7 by 9 over 5. So we multiply 4 by 9 to get 36, and then 7 by 5 to get 35. So we end up with 36 over 35 as our answer. And this time there's no need to do anything else, because that can't be simplified. In this one, we're being asked to multiply 4 fifths by 2 and 3 quarters which is a mixed number. Now, you can directly multiply fractions by mixed numbers, but it's a lot easier if you take the mixed number and convert it to an improper fraction first. So to do that, we multiply the 2 by the 4 to get 8, and then add that 8 to the numerator of 3 to get a new numerator of 11. So we get an improper fraction of 11 over 4. Then we can just multiply 4 fifths by 11 over 4, like in our other examples. So 4 times 11 is 44, and 5 times 4 is 20, which gives us 44 over 20. And then we can simplify that by dividing top and bottom by 4 to get 11 over 5. One other thing to point out about multiplying fractions is that when we multiply together fractions that are less than 1, like 1 half times 1 third, we actually get an even smaller number, because we're taking a small portion of something that was already small. For example, if we start with half a pizza, then by multiplying it by 1 third, we're effectively selecting one third of that half pizza. So now we only have one sixth of the whole pizza. In order to divide fractions, we actually use a trick. First of all, you want to write out the fraction. For example, three quarters divided by five ninths. Then you flip the second fraction upside down. So change the 5 over 9 to 9 over 5. And then we can rewrite the question with a multiply instead of a divide, which means that we'll have 3 quarters times 9 fifths. So all we've done is flip the second fraction upside down and change the divide to a multiply. Then we can just multiply the fractions together as usual. So here, we'd do 3 times 9 to give us 27, and 4 times 5 to give us 20. So we have 27 over 20. And as a last step, we need to check if it can be simplified, which it can't. So the answer stays as 27 over 20. Let's try a couple more. In this one, we're dividing 2 thirds by 4 fifths. So we flip the 4 fifths upside down to make it 5 over 4, and then change the divide to a multiply, so that we can multiply them like normal. 2 times 5 is 10, 
and 3 times 4 is 12. So we have 10 over 12, which we can simplify by dividing top and bottom by 2 to get 5 over 6. In this question, we're dividing 3 and a half by 2 fifths. The fact that we need the answer in the form of a mixed number doesn't change how we do the question at all. It just means that we're going to have to convert it into mixed number form at the end. The first step, though, is to convert this 3 and a half, which is a mixed number, into an improper fraction to make things easier for ourselves. So we do 3 times 2, which is 6, and then add that to the numerator. So because 6 plus 1 is 7, we end up with 7 over 2. And our question now reads 7 over 2 divided by 2 over 5. Then, like always, we flip the 2 over 5 upside down to get 5 over 2 and change the divide to a multiply. So we're going to have to do 7 times 5, which is 35, and 2 times 2, which is 4, to get 35 over 4. And we can't simplify this at all. The last step is to convert this to a mixed number, like they ask for in the question. So we divide 35 by 4 to get 8 remainder 3, which means that our mixed number would be 8 and 3 over 4. Anyways, that's everything for multiplying and dividing fractions, so hope you found it useful, and we'll see you again soon.